hi guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to be making a tutorial on how to cut and seal scrunchies so if this is something you are interested in please stay tuned till the end of this video so for this tutorial we are going to need this fabric some people use brighter but i'm using this ankara fabric you need a uh, elastic band and you are going to need your scissors and your tape rule so the first thing we are going to do is to measure out the main piece that we are going to be using for the scrunchies and this main piece is going to be um, 40 inches long and 7 inches wide so i'm cutting it on fold this is 20 inches so i'm just going to mark out the 7 inches width then i'm going to cut that one out so this is our main piece of 40 inches length and 7 inches width so we are just going to set that one aside for now so the next thing we are going to cut now is our um, elastic casing and for this elastic casing we are just going to measure the width of our elastic band and the width of the elastic band is 1 inches so 1 inches multiplied by 2 that's 2 inches then we are just going to add one inch allowance which we are going to be using to sew the elastic casing together so the length of our elastic casing is going to be 15 inches and the width is going to be three inches so this is our elastic casing so we are going to set it aside as well the next thing we are going to be cutting now is the piece that we are going to use to um form the scrunchies with the main piece so this piece the length of this piece depends on how big your head is so if you have a moderately sized head you can just use the length i'm going to be using here which is like 14 inches so i'm going to use 14 inches by 2 inches for this um for this piece that we are cutting now so guys um this is the piece that we are going to use for the scrunchies and this is the piece for our elastic casing and this is our main piece so the next thing we are going to be cutting out now is our elastic band and we are going to uh, the length of the the length we are going to be using is seven inches so that's what i'm cutting out now so this is our elastic band it's time for us to start stitching our scrunchies so the first thing we are going to do now is to fold the main piece into two so we are going to fold it into two the way i'm folding it now so we are going to fold it from the beginning to the end of the length of that main piece then we take it to my machine and just sew it down till the end of the fabric so i'm going to take my elastic casing as well fold it into two the way i'm folding it now and sew it down as well so i'm just going to take these two pieces to my machine now and do that so guys i've gone ahead to stitch it down um i stitch it down with half an inch so i don't know whether you are seeing the um line that i used to stitch it down so now i'm just going to go ahead and turn it inside out so i've gone ahead to turn it inside out and i've given it a very good press so the next thing we are going to do now is to start inserting um our piece that we cut out for making the scrunchies so i'm going to use my safety pin to do this so i'm going to insert it into the main piece the way i'm inserting it now so 
So when it re it's reaches that side, I'm just going to pin it down because that's where I'm going to sew down both the main piece together with that scrunchies that we put inside. So when you get to the other side as well, we are going to pin the main piece and the pieces for scrunchies together like that because we are going to sew it down. So after pinning it together, I'm just going to like set it aside for now. So the next thing I'm going to start doing now is to insert the elastic band into the elastic casing. So I'm going to start inserting it then once I insert it and the elastic band enters the elastic casing fully, I'm going to pin it down as well, just the way I'm doing it now. So I'm going to pin it down now because that's where I'm going to sew it down as well. So I'll do the same for the other side. So I'm pinning the other side as well. So now that I've um, inserted everything that I wanted to insert, I'll take it to my machine and sew it on that side and on the other side. For the main piece as well, I'll sew it on that side and on the other side. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew both the elastic casing and the main piece as well. So the next thing we are going to do now is to attach the elastic casing the elastic and the uh, main piece together. So to attach it together, we are going to make one side a uh, right side and make the other side a uh, wrong side. So now I'm going to place both the elastic casing on the main piece. So making sure that the places I uh, marked out as the right side are facing each other. Then I'm going to wrap the main piece on the elastic um, casing like this. I hope you see the way I did it. So I'll take it to my machine and sew it down. But I'm just going to pin it down now. So I'll do the same for the other side. So I'm going to place the right side on the right side, the right side of the elastic casing on the right side of the main piece. Then I'm going to wrap the elastic casing with the main piece, the way I'm wrapping it now. Then... I'm going to pin it down. So now that I've pinned it down, I'm going to take it to my machine now. Then I will sew it down on that side and on the, on the other side. So guys, the next thing we are going to do now is to pull the main piece to cover the places where we stitch the main piece and the elastic casing together. So I'm going to pull it on both sides. So after pulling it, you will see that we are no longer seeing that place where we stitch it together. So guys, this is our scrunchies. Thank you so much guys for taking time to watch this tutorial. Please do well to like this video and subscribe to this channel to enjoy more sewing content. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.